People use the term depression quite a bit, but what is it really and how do you know if your child has depression? Depression is the constant feeling of sadness intensified by feelings of hopelessness and helplessness over the course of weeks. These feelings interfere with regular day-to-day -day activities, sometimes to the point where a person cannot function at all. Depression is diagnosed by a licensed doctor or mental health professional. Scientists still don't know exactly what causes depression, but they believe it is a combination of our genetics and our environment. One thing they have been able to determine is that depression does affect the brain and body. There are physical things going on in the body when someone suffers from depression. So while depression includes feelings of sadness, the reality is that it's not just feelings. There are many different factors that are involved. Asking or expecting someone who has depression to just choose to be happy is not a solution, and actually saying something like that may cause more harm. So, what are some of the signs of depression? Some of the behavioral signs of depression may include changes in appetite, sleeping too much or too little, isolation from friends or family, irritability, not enjoying things that were previously enjoyable, feeling worthless or overly guilty, poor concentration, uh, restlessness, loss of energy, and even thoughts of suicide. These symptoms need to be present for an extended period of time and interfere with day-to-day -day functioning. Be observant and watch your child, and you may want to document these symptoms before visiting a physician in order to give a more detailed report. The one thing to consider is what is happening in the life of the person who may be depressed. There are some environmental things that may cause feelings of depression. A death in the family, moving to a new location, starting a new school year, or a job, substance abuse, etc. So keep those in mind. It's important to understand that there are different types of depression, including major depression, chronic depression, bipolar depression, seasonal depression, psychotic depression, postpartum depression, substance-induced mood disorder, it is estimated that people who suffer from depression take several years before they actually seek help. It's important to get help as early as possible, and if your child comes to you, take them seriously. Luckily, there is help. Treatment for depression can include therapy, medication, or a combination of both. The most effective treatment is usually a combination of medication and therapy. Therapy will include skill-building techniques as well. The skills on smarter parenting help parents with proven techniques that can help children with depression. We walk you through how to use them. Visit the website for more information.